Good morning, one year by the ladies. First of all, I would just like to thank Jennifer Conrad for putting herself out there last week and doing a three minute and 33 video, second video of what God is speaking to her. And I really hope throughout the year I hear from each and every one of you. As you can probably hear in my voice, I'm still kind of recovering from a cold. So I thought I would give you this view instead of my uh, recovering mug. <coughs> So quickly this morning, I just want to say that Matthew has spoken so much to me. But before I go into the verse that really stuck out this week, I want to continue with the acronym on how I prepare myself for reading the Word of God every morning. I told you the acronym I use is PRESS, P-R-E-S-S. -S, and the P, just to quickly review, is Praise, Prayer, and Thanksgiving. So every morning before I even get out of bed, no matter how I'm feeling, no matter what thoughts are racing through my head, I have disciplined myself to start the day off with just thanking God for a new day, thanking Him for a roof over my head, for anything and everything you can think of. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 17, and 18 says to rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and to give thanks in all circumstances. So start your day off consciously with prayer and thanksgiving. And now the next letter is R. R is for me reverence, respect, and repentance. Before I stand in the morning, I literally fall on my knees just to show God respect and reverence. We read a week ago in Psalm 5, verse 7, it says, but I will, by your great love, come into your house. In reverence, I bow down towards your holy temple. <coughs> now we will see as you continue reading the word that you are God's child. Galatians 4, 7 says you are no longer a slave to sin. And you can put any word in there. You are no longer a slave to anxiety. You're no longer a slave to fear. You're no longer a slave to worry. You're no longer a slave to unforgiveness. But it says you are a child of God. Let me repeat that again. You are a child of God. And the scripture continues in Galatians 4, 7, that if you're a child, then you're an heir to the kingdom. So the Bible cannot lie. God cannot lie. The word of God says that you are not only his child, but you are royalty. But I still come to the Father, the creator of the universe, and I show him reverence by bowing down every morning, falling to my knees, and just acknowledging that he is God and I am not. And sometimes this conversation changes in the morning. I just thank him that Jesus, 2,000 years ago, died, suffered, rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures, was witnessed by 500 ascending into the heavens, and he's coming back again. Sometimes I just say, I need your help today, Father. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. So to prepare my heart for getting into the word, I pee, I start my day off with prayer, praise, and thanksgiving. Verse Thessalonians 5, 16, 17, 18, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances. And second, I show God reverence by falling on my knees. So hopefully that will help again to prepare your heart for reading. And the scripture that really leapt out to me was actually, I think this morning, where it says in, um, sorry about that, in Matthew 11, verse 28. Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. And that's a great scripture, verse 28. I don't know about all of you. I know we all have our battles and our struggles, and he wants to give us rest. He wants us to come to him in the morning and just give him our burdens. So I hope that you would actually take his word for what it says. Maybe write down the things that you're struggling with, write down your burdens, write down your concerns, your fears, your anxieties, and then say, Lord, you promise that you'll give me rest. And then either burn them, rip them in a million pieces, and throw them away. Keep going. I love you guys. And uh, I would love to hear from each and every one of you.